Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we have a super exciting video and it's a tag for the five best bags for different scenarios. It's basically bags for everyday life, bags for daily work, vacation, rainy days, dates, and a bonus. So I am actually quite happy to see tag videos coming back more and more. I miss that so much from YouTube. And I was tagged by the one and only Kiaris. I've watched her channel for so many years now. I would say since 2017, I've been watching her or even before that. And this tag was created created by From Lux Purse Love, who I also love and adore her content. So I'm gonna leave both of their videos and I'm also gonna tag pretty much anyone that I can add to from my YouTube channel. But if I don't tag you, highly, highly encourage you to make the video. I would love to see everyone's take on this and I'm gonna give it my little spin. So I'm gonna pick two bags per category and I'm gonna explain to you why I feel like they're so good, why I reach for them in this scenario. This is gonna be a mini review. Hope that you guys enjoy this video and let's get into the first category. So the first one being daily life since I moved my schedule and my day-to-day -day change a lot So bags that I used to use for daily things is not the same than here So that has indeed changed So for me a good everyday bag means that I can crossbody the bag because I don't use a car here anymore at all Like I use it when I need to go places that are quite far away or traveling But if not, I try to walk everywhere if it's too far then I use a subway and if not I use the bus which here in Barcelona public transportation works amazing it's super fast one time it took me like 10 minute ride 30 minutes to find parking so not gonna do that so I needed to be crossbody and close to my body if I ever use public transportation being careful with pickpocketers and also to not have to worry much about the bag especially when you're walking around you can basically forget that you're carrying it and it has to be able to keep the essentials for me so I'm going to show you the first bag that I've been reaching out for mostly in the past two months. This is my gray classic flap from the 19B collection. It's in the medium size, Lambs King. You can see the back. I had like a point where I was not reaching out for this one that much. And that was basically because where I was living, it was a beach. So I was dressing mainly with dresses and florals and a lot of stuff like that that was not fitting so much a gray bag with silver hardware. Well, at least that was my take on it. Probably there's many, many ways that you can do it. And summer is coming, so let's see how that goes. But here, this looks so good. Like gray is such a beautiful neutral and I can do crossbody with a bag. For me, it's been working amazing. Actually, now that I think about it, I never wear my classic flaps like shoulder bags, either single strap or double strap. They're always crossbody, even if I have a coat. So for me, that makes them quite easy to use and to style. I love lambskin, I don't have an issue with that. This one is the one that I have been gravitated a lot towards to. I've been loving this one. I wanted to pick a second bag that was more like a very casual, I'm gonna do a lot of things. I definitely don't want to think twice about the bag in any possible way and I know that it's gonna stand everything and for me that's my boy bag. I freaking love this bag and I know people don't like it anymore because it's not trendy, people don't see it as an investment anymore I don't see it that much on the streets or even on social media at all But I find this bag to be quite amazing and honestly so good because it is a perfect crossbody You can also do it as a double shoulder. I love the strap length I know what I love what it fits and this one is not lambskin. This one is calfskin So I don't have that much issues when it rains like I'm mindful, but I'm not that worried I feel so comfortable with this bag that I lost the fear completely like I'm just so happy to have it and I don't worry about this bag and I think that's one of the things that I love the most when you just have a bag and you fully love use and take advantage of it so for me that's this bag and it also has this very edgy look that the classic flaps do not have so yeah many people may say that the boy bag has passed that it's so trendy I love the bag I think that it's such an edgy and classic piece from Chanel that will always be relevant at least for me and if it's not relevant for everyone else don't really care and I love the contrast with the aged gold hardware it still pulls my hair a little bit if you can notice that but yeah this bag is so easy to grab especially because it's in the small so i used to have the old medium and i didn't like it as much as this one i find this one to be better for my frame it still fits what i need this is a good example of what i always say that trends don't really matter you like what you like and if everyone else doesn't like it it's not your problem i think that it's a great bag and i would recommend it to anyone that wants like something easy for your day it's a bag that blends in very well with my lifestyle. Now let's go for work. So I don't have an office job, at least not anymore. So basically for me working consists on staying here. However, I do try to leave the house
skills to edit. It is a little bit overwhelming to be inside the house for way too long and not living just looking at the screen. So I go places to edit, sometimes cute cafes or to the park or to the club. I, I just, I need to get out. Or then I have full days out when I need to do some filming or meet someone, etc. So I wanted to bring two bags that I use for that. So this is my first work bag and it is indeed like a beach bag, but it's the only bag that I own that fits my computer. My laptop is massive, like, let me show it to you. So this is my laptop. It's a 16 inch MacBook Pro and doesn't fit on every bag. This is why I ended up selling my book tote from Dior because it just didn't fit the computer. So it was big for a daily bag, but small for a work bag. So this is the only thing where I can fit my computer. I freaking love this bag for traveling. I love it to take it places because it just fits so much. It's so comfortable. It's one of the best totes out there. My only con with this one is possibly the very beachy casual look. Sometimes I just feel like it's too, too casual and it has the big logo and it's also too open to carry my computer. So yeah, I'm gonna try to start looking for bags that fit my laptop a little bit more as I do find the need to have another one that is not this one. But this one, I've used it so far. Amazing for traveling. I love how slouch it is. I love that it has this handle, all the pockets and adding an organizer, it's quite a necessity. Like this bag without an organizer, it's a no-go. But yeah, this is basically the bag. And I believe this is the biggest one that exists from Chanel. I also take it to the beach. Now, if I need to leave the house and take a lot of things like my camera, charger, agenda, stuff like that, this is the bag that I usually reach out for. And I love this bag. The look, the leather, everything. It's just amazing. And it's a bag that I would recommend to anyone. Like vintage Hermes is box leather for me. I think it's my favorite leather that the brand offers. Maybe I don't own Swift, but I think that I would possibly love Swift so much. But this is my Kelly in Celier style in black with gold hardware in box leather from 1995 so this is a vintage bag I got it almost two years ago I freaking love this bag because it fits anything that you may want I just did a comparison review between the 25 the 28 and the mini Kelly so this is amazing for work and to take anything that you may need sometimes when I leave the house I can put my camera my phone the lens of the camera which is like bigger than the camera like anything that you may need does fit in here so in my opinion it's an amazing size without being too overwhelming. It doesn't fit a laptop, so I have considered the Birkin 35 for that. So far, this has been working amazing for me. I also love it for traveling. For the computer, I've been looking into the Goyard Tote, the Loewe Flamenco, the Celine Cabas Tote, the leather one that they just released, the Chanel Maxi that I'm hesitating a little bit on that one because I can already see that the weight of the laptop is going to deform the bag. And I also thought about the Chanel 22, but I mean, I don't know. Okay. Okay, now let's go for the rainy bag and it's been actually raining quite a lot so I've been using these two bags specifically so the first one is my Speedy B25 in Damien Hermen and it's the bandolier version it does have the strap I have it right here so this is what I call it will never fail me bag it's the oldest bag that I have in my collection I absolutely love and adore it love the Damien Hermen I think it's a beautiful stunning bag mine is in the 25 size but if you're a little bit taller I do recommend you to go for the 30 this bag can stand absolutely everything. I never have to worry much about it when I'm using it, so it's a very easy grab and go, fits a lot. Sometimes I can even put a sweater inside or a mini umbrella, which is usually what I take when it's raining, like the mini umbrellas that they sell on Amazon. It has a top handle, which is super useful, and the crossbody strap, so yeah, when it rains, it's very, very easy for me to just reach out for this one. And days that I'm considering, like, it might rain, maybe not, I take it. Like, here it starts raining when it starts to get a little bit hotter, so maybe I'm out with a dress or with a, only a shirt or something like that that's a little bit more like spring summery then I tend to take this one which is my Polena Numero Neuf in wheat it's actually yellow but it's called wheat and the leather is super durable I find it super comfortable yellow is an amazing shade specifically right now and I used to think like blondes could not use yellow but I've sort of changed my mind through that the only thing that I can tell you that I don't love about this bag is how hard it is to take things in and out because this is actually attached so you cannot open it more. So it does get a tad annoying when you want to reach for something bigger that you need to hustle a bit. If I were to tell you between the two, I would definitely go for the Speedy. But this one is a very good option when you want to wear something a little bit like lighter. For me, the Speedy, it has a little bit more of a rougher look, especially when it's in the Damier Ben. But if you go for Monogram or Damier Sur, you have the Vachera, so then makes it not waterproof. I would say this is the best one that I have when it comes to rainy bag. The next one is Vacation. And for me, with 
with vacation, I need two things. Something small. I don't want to be carrying something big around because I walk around and I like to discover and just walking a lot. The two bags that I would consider taking right now is definitely my mini Kelly. This is a very compact bag. I love the look and it's super easy to pair with anything. It has a crossbody strap and it has a top handle. You don't feel it because it's so small. It's not heavy and when you're like out and about, you don't have to worry much about it also because it's small. If you are going somewhere that you don't feel super safe with the bag, you can crossbody the bag and put a jacket or whatever you want on top of it. But I do feel very safe when I'm carrying this one. It's what I need and I love the look that it has. So if I'm traveling, I usually take this one. Since the day that I got it to Portugal, I took it to Paris. I've been taking it to London the times that I've been going. So I just find it to be a great travel bag, like when you're in the destination. Like not an airport bag because it doesn't even fit your passport, but it's a great bag. And the second one is going to be my Chanel Mini. Just because it has a very good crossbody length and you don't have to worry much about it either. Mine is in pink, but if you have it like in black or another color, it could be a little bit even better. But when it's summer, I try to pre-plan my outfits and I would definitely try to implement this one. Mine is in lambskin and it's with aged gold hardware. This is beautiful. It's from the spring summer collection and it's still in pristine condition. This was the bag that made me fell in love with lambskin because I was so scared of it and then I got this one and it's so soft and it's so pretty. It's like the princess bag. I really, really like it and I should use it a little bit more, but I plan to use it way, way more now in the summer, especially when we travel. And because it's compact, it doesn't take a lot of space inside your luggage, also fits your essentials. So this too would be my travel destination bags. Now, date night. That was easy because I only have two bags that I would consider date night worthy. And the first one, I think if you know the bags that I have in my collection, you know the ones that I'm gonna pick, but this is the first. So this is my Dior saddlebag in satin and it has crystals. So it has crystals here on the CD, on the other side too, and on the D right here. And it's in satin, it has the back pocket and it's the mini version. I got this one from Sack Lab for my birthday because I really wanted a crystal bag, but I didn't wanna go overboard with the crystals. Like I was really into the Prada Clio with the crystals, but I knew that for me, it could be a little bit too much. With the other one, you're gonna see that I basically forgot about that. But this doesn't have a strap and I don't want to put a strap on it because it could end up taking some crystals of the CD. But for me, this is such a unique and it was a very good way for me to implement the saddlebag into my collection because I really wanted a saddlebag for a really long time, but I was not really sold on the ones that I could see on the store often, like the regular leather ones. And this one that is satin, satin doesn't get my dog's hair into it. So it's easier to keep clean. It's such a cute, unique bag. I really, really love it. It doesn't fit a lot and the closure makes it even like worse, but usually you don't take much, so it's fine. Where I went overboard is my Chanel pearl bag. This is the newest bag that I have and I got this one from Redelux and I freaking love it. I'm not only using it for day night, I'm using it for way, way more than that because for me, owning this bag is like a dream come true. Like truthfully, the moment that it was released, I couldn't buy it and I regretted it ever since. It was like the bag that got away. I have a few of those, but this one was the one that I basically totally gave up on it. It was so hard to find on the resale market and now it's here and I intend to use it the most that I can. So I've been using it for date night, dinners, traveling, pretty much anything, like I love it. I will have to update everyone how the pearls were because I know that if they can fall off a little bit. I am concerned about that, but I'm gonna keep an eye on it and worst case scenario, I'll just take it to Chanel to get repaired. But this is not a bag that I got to keep on the shelf at all. Like I got this bag intending to use it constantly and implementing it on my life. So this too, I would consider there are like the formal bags that I have, but they're a little bit like too much. So if you ask me, I would love to have a black mini Kelly. You know, I can wish. It's not gonna happen, but I can wish. And we were allowed to do a bonus. If you know me, you know which one is gonna be the bonus. So it's hard to use this one during spring and summer. I like it more for winter and fall just because it has like this like plushy, cute look. And this is my Oreo Tweet 19 bag. I love it so much. This is the one that did not get away because I went and hunt for it. Literally, when I saw the collection, I was like, I need to get it. I'm, I need to buy it. I'm gonna look for it. It was super hard to find, but I got my hands on it and I don't plan to ever let it go. So this was it. I hope that you guys enjoyed the video. If I didn't tag you, because I'm gonna tag a few people, please just feel free to do the video and consider yourself tagged by me. If you're not to my channel, please consider subscribing and click the notification bell down below so you don't miss any of my videos. And if you're not done watching, I'm gonna leave you two videos right here in case you wanna check them out. Thank you and see you 
on the next one. Bye.